These are the required points to express in your ad. Feel free to paraphrase and speak from your own experience. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. So, it can be heard on Spotify, Apple, Podcast, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And please make sure, at this point, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Do you know the spelling of anchor.fm? A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M. Thank you for your listening. See you. Hello, everyone. I'm Richard Bong of Back to Live, podcast version. This time, I'd like to talk about how to create adult contents. I mean, making adult contents is the t- topic of this podcast or episode. In this episode, there's little or not, nothing naughty, no whole new stuff. I mean, this is a not notice, and all the stuff. All, all the stuff I'm going to talk about is about the field of product development and research or stuff like that. Which means if you expect something like naughty or hot or horny stuff, please, please don't listen to this content if you would like to, if you'd like to in, enjoy something hot. And the main target, main targeted listeners of this episode are the, are the those I'm going to tell you. And the main, mainly targeted listeners are mainly targeted listeners are people who want to create adult contents to make money, or people who are interested in adult content creation, or novices or beginners who have just begun making adult contents. However, if you are not if you are not a targeted listener, I'm sure you you can enjoy this this episode because uh, I I created uh, I I'm expecting so. And please be careful on this point. Please be careful of this point. The type of adult content on this on this episode is intended to be enjoyed by men, which means this episode assumes in most cases figures of women women are used as materials in the adult content dealt dealt in this episode. So. If you'd like, to, if you'd like to know how to create adult content or how to make adult content, please listen. Please listen further. This is the beginning. As you know, many people, especially most men, are fond of adult content. Adult content are so attractive as to drain large amounts of free time from people enjoying those contents themselves. Thanks to sexual desires, almost all the people or all all the people have. Adult industry is a sick foundation supporting human welfare all over the world. In which sense, the, ben- the benefits of adult content, adult content creation are not only enjoy, enjoying content creation, but also generating money, you know. I, I sometimes enjoy adult content, which means I, I watch porn movies in, in which beautiful women play really, you know, hot or no- naughty stuff. and. In, in which in which case my time is drained or my my time is my time is taken by those adult contents which means adult contents are real that adult contents are attractive that much and although it is important to enjoy creating adult contents it is still necessary to spawn really attractive or sexy products products to, to, to gather viewers listeners and other types of users to gain monetary benefits to develop such products, you need to know how to design them, which which is how you can create such content having enough specifications to arouse and and engage many users. To know such de- designing manner, let's go ahead to to the next, which means you know when it comes to creating adult contents, what what you have to concentrate on is not only enjoying content creation but also you know you need to create really attractive adult contents for collecting people or collecting viewers or or users. So what I'm going to 
what I'm going to tell you is how, how, to, how to design those contents. Next is conclusion. As a conclusion, which is what you have to know. When it comes to creating adult contents, what is necessary are the, the stuff I'm going to tell you. And the necessary types of po points, you know, there are necessary types of points you know, in creating or designing adult contents, which means type 1, which is literal or moderately arousing points, and type 2, which is, which is the largest or climax adult arousing contents. But please, let me tell you again, necessary types of points points are type 1 which is literal or moderately arousing points and type 2 which is the largest or climax of the arousing points. This is the conclusion of this article and in the, in the next item or in the next section on, or in the next part I will tell you I will explain each, each type of arousing points and the next is details and let me talk about the outline of those points. And at first, first of all, I created a picture showing the image of, or conceptual image of, of those points, or the, those two types of arousing points. And to take a look at those, um, that picture, please access to the, please access to the article of Medium. And I will, I will tell you how to access that Medium, Medium article later. Anyway. The d detailed expl explanation is like this, and the type one, which is as I explained, a literal or mod moderately moderately arousing point, and main role of main role of this type of points is to sub subtly arouse sexual desires of the of the use of the users or of adult contents, and keep the desires flaming or smoldering inside the users inside the users. And type 2, which is one of the largest or climax arousing points, which means main role of this type is to give the, give the users of adult, adult contents final and immense sexual grafti gratifications. You know, what is necessary is, is to fire or flame, flame, the, flame the sexual desires of viewers or listeners or the users of adult contents. And the stuff igniting such such sexual desires are a type type one, which is a literal or moderately arousing point, arousing points, and the, when they when they are brought to the climax, or the, when when those users are brought to the final final part of adult contents, what is necessary is type two, type two arousing points which are which are one of the largest or climax climax arousing points you know in which you have to give immense sexual sexual gratifications to those viewers and each of them has has different roles each other and accom accompanying those ro roles their, their usages and desirable conditions vary the outline of such usages and conditions are the as a, what I'm going to tell you, and the usage and condition as outline are uh, when designing adult contents, you have to combine these two types of ar arousing points. By analyzing both types of points, you can create adult contents exciting, exciting enough to collect viewers and users. In the phase of placing those points, it is good to set them as a, as as I tell you, which means. Type, in the case of type 1, those arousing points should be set in the in the range from the former part to the middle one, one of the entire content, you know, when, it, when setting a literal, literal or moderate, moderate, moderately arousing points, you have to set those, those, two, those points into the former part to the middle, middle part of, of the entire adult content. And when it comes to setting climax points or the largest and climax climax arousing points, these points should be set, set in the later or the final part of the entire content. And next is the detailed ex explanation or the ex description 
of type RAM, which is literal or moderately arousing points. As it, as I, as I explain, as I explained, the main role of this type of of points is to ignite flames of sexual desires in the heart of the heart of the users and keep them to create. I mean, keep those keep those flames of sexual desires to create the arousing points of this of this type. The the stuff I'm going to tell you is suitable examples, and the examples of of the of the arousing points are movies or their teasers showing parts of sexual intercourses, and ladies showing their attractive bodily parts like bare sides and legs, huge breasts, thick lips, and sexual teasing and taunting words, taunting words for being sex for being sexual intercourses. These are used for audio content and written ones, and and some sexual intercourses written in the beginning of novels or novellas. When creating adult, when creating arousing points like like what I like what I said, you have to make sure that the stuff the stuff I'm going to tell you and, and so that stuff is the conditions. And the conditions are I mean first is not this you shouldn't bring the scenes of for example ejaculations of semen and squat or in some cases excretions. You can't bring that, such ejaculation scenes to to the first or the middle part of adult contents. And place to set is considering where to set those points, the beginning parts or middle ones of the of the whole content are the suitable parts. For example, when it comes to creating a ten minute long content, the literal or moderately arousing points have to fall in the range of zero to seven minutes. And Quantities of points. Generally thinking, a point per one or two minutes is a recommendable quantity. For example, if you create a 10 minute long content, 4 to 7 points are good. Good quantities. And engaging the, the users, what you have to consider is that the, the places to set those, those points and the quantity of them directly, directly affect how well you, you can have of the users of your other contents engaged to those contents themselves. You need to place those points at appropriate intervals with proper amounts to engage the users to the contents you create. What I wanted to say in this in this part is that is that you have to anyway, you have to engage those users or listeners or viewers of of adult contents you created. And to engage people you have to set fire and keep that keep that fire fire of those users and to keep keep that flame flame of or keep those flames of sexual desires you have to set those other arousing points arousing po you have to set arousing points at at um, at, at good intervals and with with pro proper amounts with proper numbers of points to keep to keep keep themselves to keep those users hot, keep feel hot. I mean, if there are many, too, if there are too many points, I don't think that is good. But if you have too too small amount of those arousing points, you know, users would leave leave away from your adult contents. So, what is what is necessary is to, you know. This is what is necessary is a kind of denial play of adult of adult contents like you, you have to bring those viewers to to the last or to the final part of your adult contents and to to accomplish that you have to keep the users keep users watching your adult contents for example or listening to adult contents and you have to keep them as moderately excited you have to keep the situation situation of the users moderately excited. I'm sorry for my bad ex explanation, but the images, stuff like that, stuff like this. And the next is type 2, type 2 arousing points. And next is type 2, which is the largest or climax arousing points. This type of points comes to the final part of the entire content. And as, as I 
as I explained explain that before, its its main its main role is to give the users of uh, adult content final and immense sexual gratifications, which is enabled by the by the stuff I'm going to tell you, which is which is the, which is examples of the arousing po of the arousing points of this type of this type. What I'm going to tell you is, is the examples of the, of those arousing points of type two, and the examples are examples are. Ejaculation scenes in the form of movies, writings, and audio contents. And in this case, in this case, in this ejaculation scenes case, in this in the case of ejaculation scenes, what is ejaculated are semen, squat, and other kinds of things, if possible. And scenes of protagonists, or in the case of movies, just reaching orgasms. In this case, you don't have to you don't have to show sperm, sperm, nor squat. Where a, man, where a man has a penis inserted into the vagina of a woman on, on, the, on the screen of, for example, a porn movie, it is good to show the simultaneous orgasms to those two casts. And when creating this, this, type of, this type of arousing points, you have to make sure the, st the conditions I'm going to tell you, that the conditions are this is the part where you have to bring the bring the ejaculation scenes. Those scenes are the climax in the in the entire content. And in the case of porn porn movie creations, you have to create those scenes specially meticulously. And place to set is please set those points on the later or final part of of the whole whole content. For example, in the case of creating a ten minute long content. The largest work climax arousing points have to fall in the range of 7 to 10 minutes. And, you know, before, when, when I was explaining type 1, which, are, which was, which are literal or moderately arousing points, those points failing, failing to 0 to 7 minutes. 0, zero to 7 minutes. So, and in, in the case of, in, in this case, in the case of type 2, or the largest and climax arousing points, those, those largest and Largest and climax arousing points have to fall into the time range of, of 7 to 10 minutes. And the quantities of points, which is one, one or two points on entire content, is an ideal quantity. One or two is, one or two are the, one or two is, the, you know, really good, good, good quantity. And what to focus in, in this type is, please focus on letting the Letting the users, or in the case of bomb videos, viewers ejaculate in comfortable situations. Those users have held their sperm inside themselves, considering that their purpose is to reach orgasm and eject semen. This type of arousing point has, has to be the climax in, in the entire content. In the case of creating a 30 minute content, the users might have held semen for nearly 20 some minutes, which, which means the largest and climax arousing points have to give users sexual certifications great enough to attain or well exceeding the frustrations the users have suffered with, with by holding semen from the beginning to the, to the time of ejaculations. If you succeed in giving the users immense pleasures in this final part, you can give Chance, chances to release them to release them to other contents you create. What I wanted to say in in this in this part is that you know if the content is really long, like that the con the length of the, the content the length of the content was thirty minutes or thirty some minutes, you know th those viewers or the users have to have to hold their own semen or their own sperm for tw twenty some minutes until the last. I mean. To, and if if the final part was really boring, or if the fi in, in, if in, if they were if they were in the final points and they they couldn't ejaculate comfortably, they, they may they may get up, they may get upset because you know they have been frustrated from the beginning to to the last part of the contents, and if they couldn't ejaculate comfortably, you know they can't get satisfied with with your content. They can't get satisfied with your contents, which means you have to satisfy them, and you have to off offset those frustrations those users had with with the gratifications your your adult contents would give them, or 
the sexual gratification the adult content are supposed to give ha have to have to well exceed or exceed well enough those frustrations the users would have. This is what I wanted to tell you. And if those co if your adult contents are, bo are found boring, boring, those users would mm, those users would leave, or those us users are going to leave leave your contents. They, I mean, they don't they don't watch your adult contents, or they don't use your adult contents anymore. If if your if the contents you created are found boring, this is which is what I wanted to tell you. At last, at last, this is the last. I have explained the necessary points to know for desi designing adult contents to this part. However, as you know, there is no correct answer nor wrong answer in real human lives. There is no correct designing, designing manner nor wrong designing manner in adult content creations, which, which may sound joking, but considering the purpose of main, main function of adult content, what you have to create is what you can love. The purpose of main function of adult content is to arouse people, which means if you aren't aroused to if you aren't aroused to this con content you created you create, they aren't good enough good enough. In content creation, what matters is you enjoy creation itself and your products or, or works satisfy their users, including yourselves. To accomplish which you can deflect off of the designing manner introduced on this episode. Because the manner intro introduced here is a kind of helpful advice for you. Whether you adopt, adopt it or adopt this manner or not is up to your decision. What you design com comes before how you design, which is what the creator of this episode wants you to remember. And the episode, the episode is finished. That's all. And before fin before really finishing, which I'd like you to tell you a stuff. A s I'd like to tell you a thing, which is maybe you found maybe you found found me a non-native speaker of English, and maybe you couldn't understand some some part of my or some part of this episode, which is why I mean. Let me tell you this, and there's a there's a, a written version or. A, well, article version of, of this episode and the article is is an article of medium and i i paste the link in the description description column of this episode and if you'd like to read the, the article of this of this content or, or of this content of this episode please click the click the click or paste the url to to the browser to read that con to read this episode and this is all thank you for listening